Right, Andy Carson is, is here now, and boy, what a gorgeous day on the coast. Is it breezy out there, though? It looks a little breezy. Uh, a little bit of a breeze, not too yeah. bad. Uh, gusts coming in about 20 miles per hour, but okay. you can get that okay. at the coast here. Yeah, uh, nothing so too unusual. A little bit of cloudiness uh, to low uh, clouds off in the distance right there, but lots of blue sky right over. A few people taking a stroll out there from the Chinook Winds Beach Camera there in Lincoln City. Currently 52 degrees. are going to bring it back into the Portland area. Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro Camera up in Vancouver. Those clouds have been a little bit stubborn, so uh, not really clear off as quickly as anticipated. Uh, the fog for the most part has died down around the metropolitan area, but we have some of those mid-level clouds still lingering out there. 47 degrees there. Uh, we head out to Forest Grove, 48, 47 Vernonia, Hillsborough into Beaverton. Newburgh's up to 49, 48 into McMinnville. Over in Estacada, it's 43 just like Camas. 46 up in Woodland Battleground, sitting at 45. We go to Cascade Locks, where it's currently 49 degrees. So uh, the cloud rain forecast map, we are looking at mostly clear skies as we get in uh, to the afternoon. That's so the clouds we have overhead right now in the valley should clear on out. Uh, we'll see that pretty much across the entire state. Uh, we'll see a little bit of cloudiness over here on the far east side of the state. Some showers well offshore, but uh, that's really not coming our direction. It will just uh, continue to be offshore. We get to tomorrow morning, probably see a little bit of cloudiness, could even see some some hints of fog for areas that are sheltered from the wind. We're anticipating a little bit of a breeze coming in through the gorge, uh, so we should see a lot more sunshine, especially to the east side of the metro. A few clouds over on the east side of the state as well as we get into a Friday morning, and then we'll see a couple of showers, even some snow showers as we get to early Saturday morning, way over on the east side, but notice those winds really coming in at that point in time, which should keep us pretty clear as we go through the day Saturday and through the day on Sunday as well. And then we'll finally start to see a little bit of a change in our forecast as we get into the work week next week. So. Uh, we're still dealing with hints of fog out there, then sunny. 56 will be the high today. 61 with the uh, little breezy conditions and sunshine on Friday. Sunny and 60 on Saturday. 59 Sunday. Then we get to Monday. The system comes in bringing with it the chance of rain decreasing to showers and then a few hit and miss showers as we get to Tuesday. Notice the big drop off temperature wise. Highs only up to 48 on Valentine's Day as well as the day after. Then partly cloudy on Wednesday with a high of 51.